So you got these wandering, happy hikers and some goddess figure in paradise. And they come across a tomb. And you can see they're looking at the inscription and looking at the goddess trying to figure out what the heck is a sarcophagus doing in paradise. This is paradise. There's no death in paradise. Isn't, isn't paradise sort of the opposite of death? And for me anyway, this, point, this painting makes the point. And for me, I learned this in art history class. Um, I didn't make it up. Um, that, that the I, the way the inscription is written, that the I is active. It's not like I was here, like this dead guy was alive. It's I am here. And the I is thought to mean death. So the challenge for us here is to think, well, maybe heaven's on earth. Maybe, maybe death is a part of paradise. And I think there's something to that. Because we're so relatively wired, I don't think we would know what the hell paradise looked, felt, or smelled like if we didn't know the sort of the obnoxious cousins of those things. If we didn't suffer, I don't think we'd really know what uh, just, just passionate joy felt like. If we didn't really know pain, I don't think we'd know comfort. If we didn't know hell, we wouldn't know heaven, and so on and so on. So I don't think an ending well, I don't think we have to be a, a bunch of folks who just love death and it's just wee. Um, it, not at all. I mean, that would be a little, might be a little creepy. That's welcome too, but uh, I would, but I think the point is gonna be made over and over again. It really is, the point is death helps us love life. <laughs>